Hey, what's up garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good, I am great. I just been sitting out here with my plants. I just released Saturday's video and I was just kind of like in the mood to do something. To do something with my plants to be a little bit more precise. I've just, I've had the urge. I need to garden, I need to plant things, but it's just not quite time yet in my garden. I'm in zone six. Spring is creeping in. There are a few things I could be doing, but overall, I, it's like on the safer side. I'm gonna stick with potted things for now. One, I guess I should introduce you to the plant, right? This is a rhododendron. This is a purple gem rhododendron. They get two feet by two feet. They're hardy zones four and up, which is perfect because I will be putting this into a pot. When I saw this at the nursery, this is just, it's from Lowe's. It's not from like anywhere fancy. Its shape and structure really stood out to me, particularly that trunk and all the branching that's in there. Like this is a nice looking cool plant. I'm like, I think I can do something kind of cool with this. And I also have this nice blue round pot here. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this rhododendron and plop it down in here. So for starters, I know that this isn't like the most exciting viewer angle to be looking at the plant, but I'm kind of limited on space here. Just having a good time planting stuff. I'm going for sort of like a faux bonsai sort of look. I wouldn't particularly end up calling this a bonsai. I'll explain why later. I'm just not really gonna do much with it pruning wise or shaping wise. That, that's pretty much it. And I have a feeling, usually when I buy these little bitty shrubs that are in these nice tall pots, they very rarely are rooted all the way through. Why did I say that so weird? So I'm gonna come in here, gently lift this up. I can even feel in here that like right around here, I think is where the separation between the roots and the rest of the soil is. So I'm thinking I'm not gonna, yep. Yep, that's lifting right out. I don't even feel anything tearing. Look at that. Okay, well that was easy. So had this actually been rooted into this fully, I would have pulled that out. I would have taken a chopstick. I have one right here. I was prepared for it. And I would have gone through and feathered out the roots from the soil to loosen it up so that I could make it fit into this more shallow pot. But I, I don't have to do that as you can see. So that just made things a lot easier. This is gonna be a quick video. I'm gonna gently spread the top of the soil out. Part of my cat scratches there. Still loosening up the top. That's mostly because there's a lot of loose mulch up there. Some hardwood mulch, which is great. Rhododendrons like a really airy soil, an acidic soil at that. The trunk isn't straight though. That's why I want to loosen that top up a little bit so I can straighten this out and not have it look kind of weird and wonky. I'm okay with this being mounted up. I actually, I think that'll look sort of neat. Even actually having it kind of off center, I think that will look nice. I like the idea of it sort of looking like it's up on a hill. Just gonna go through, I'm gonna keep on backfilling. I'm gonna make sure that that soil comes down all the way here. This had one of those like security type stickers on it. I haven't been able to get it off of there. I just cut my fingernails and it's not, I'll work on it a little bit more. I didn't, I honest, I didn't really try that hard. So I'm using my hand to very gently grade through here. I want it to have a smooth motion going up. I don't want this to have like a hard edge, a hard line where it goes from being flat to up to over. Did that, that make any sense? Just want it to look natural. As natural as something can look in a bright blue pot. All right, so I'm not going to do this, but thought I'd talk about it. Since this already has a nice line to the side of the roots in that root mass, I could, like I said, I'm not going to, but I could line this with plastic and fill it with water. And then it would have like a tiny little pond or lake underneath it. The reason I'm not doing that is because I already have a bonsai that's kind of like that, or bonsai, I should say. And uh, uh, it's kind of high maintenance. I keep these outdoors, rhododendrons, azaleas, they'll always do, in my experience, particularly ones that like a chill, they're always going to do much, much, much better outside than inside. And I'll be moving this out in just a couple days when temperatures start to warm back up. I could do it now, but since the roots have been kind of messed with a little bit, I don't think it would appreciate that. I don't know if it made my point. So, and when it rains, the water gets it, the soil washes into the water and it's just, it's, it's a mess. I don't feel like dealing with that on another one. Just more cleaning. And I just wanted to keep this quick and simple. It's gonna fill this back in with the soil that's left in the pot. It looks like a nice rhododendron mix. It's sandy. It's got a lot of organic matter in there, which they love. I'm thinking it'll root into this a lot better since it's in a broad, a wide pot, something more shallow not really something so deep like this nursery can over here. I am very gently lifting it to try and make sure I can get the soil into any air pockets that are in there. Stabilize it overall, all the way around. Okay, so there's that. That's like the overall mounding habit or form I wanted to get there. 
I would like to top dress this with some gravel. The problem is the only gravel I have is kind of big and chunky and I just, I don't know if it would look quite right. I would like to use a crushed lava, something that would be traditionally used for a bonsai. Even though, like I said, I'm not really considering this a bonsai because I'm not going to be doing any pruning on it. I didn't have to do any root pruning. I'm not doing any wiring on it. So it's not, it's just, it's bonsai-ish. I do have this really pretty piece of rock here, but I just don't know if that actually that looks pretty good i like that there's a lot of reflection from the lights but i didn't really even have to do much of anything with that that just sort of settled right into place all right cool works for me and then over here these are the rocks i was talking about they're just like river pebbles they're for like arts and crafts they saw them at lowe's and home depot probably even michael's i just don't think it's quite the aesthetic i would want but i'll give it a shot I mean, hey if you don't like it then just switch it out i mean not right now obviously but later i think having pretty much anything on top of the soil is going to look better than bare soil thing i really do like about these river pebbles is there's something about them there's just something i like that kind of suggests motion if i were to go through and face them all the same direction which would take a pretty long time i don't know if i'm going to do that it would have like a swooping sort of like a riverbed effect can already i mean even kind of see what i'm talking about just right here all right that's it oh need to take that off of there talk about easy I like how it came out i don't know if i can really get this far enough out to get it fully in frame i'm sorry space is kind of limited out here and that foliage is very very reflective even up close it's not really showing its true colors and this will green up a little bit once it actually once the temperatures start to warm up this darker foliage, the darker hint that's on there, that's more because of cool weather. There are some plants, a lot of evergreens that will kind of shift their tone a little bit when things are cold outside. Yeah, when it warms up, that'll have more of a green hue to it. And then it'll have those really pretty kind of purplish pink flowers. These guys right here, those ones. I don't hate the gravel. I usually prefer a finer gravel. Like I said, that crushed lava, I think looks really nice, but I mean, that's, that's not so bad. Who knows, maybe I'll leave it like that. There's a lot of contrast going on here between that blue piece of stone and then the moss and then the different color foliage. Oh, and then of course the aqua colored pot. And I will water this in. That's the final step to any planter. I just didn't do it right now because I can't find my big drainage dish that I normally set these things in when I'm doing videos. And uh, it's, I don't want to get water all over the place. So I'm going to take it outside to water it. And it's dark out, so I'm sorry, I, I can't take y'all with me. Speaking of rhododendron, it's gonna want a soil that's a little bit more on the acidic side, and since I have very alkaline water, I will be sure to add in to amend the soil with a soil acidifier. There's one from Espoma that I really like, and I'll just kind of sprinkle that on top and work it with my fingers. I'll have to pull the gravel kind of out of the way to do that, but it's not that big of a deal. It's pretty easy. You probably do that like two to three times a year. It really doesn't have to be done very often. It's pretty simple. And I'll be setting it outside in a location where it's going to get a few hours of morning sun and then it'll have nice filtered dappled light throughout the rest of the day. My hand, I was trying to make it look like there's leaves, but it, it didn't work. I wish I could show this foliage like in its true form because it is really, really pretty. It has a slight fuzziness to it, which is where a lot of that reflection is coming from. It's not even a fuzziness. There's like tiny little bitty dots on there, but still that's the culprit for the reflection. Still pretty though. I like it a lot. There are so many fun things I could do with this. I could very easily fairy garden this, put like little miniature figurines around here swap out that gravel, have bridges and ladders and all sorts of things. Or what I think I'll be doing, which would be to switch this out with a crushed lava and then maybe put in some mud men or some smaller like bonsai type figurines. Even just as it is like this, I really like it. And how simple, so easy. Like one of the few times that I'm totally okay with the fact that this plant was not rooted into its pot the way it should have been because you know, it worked out in my favor. If it had been rooted into that pot, I had mentioned I would use the chopstick to loosen to feather the roots out of the soil so I could spread them into that pot. There would also be a period of time after that though where I would really have to baby the plant and watch out for things like transplant shock. And I'm still going to have to do that, but it's nowhere near to the same extreme because it really didn't lose much as far as roots go. I just sort of spread them out a little bit. That was pretty much it. So the flower buds may not have enjoyed that, but I think they'll be all right, at least most of them. There is some pruning I could do in this, but I really, like I said, I like it. I'm just gonna leave it as it is for now. Maybe at some point, once it's done flowering, before it sets its new buds, I'll go through and thin it out so it's a little bit more airy. I would make some cuts probably, I'd probably cut around here, some over in here, some over in here, so that you can kind of see through the plant a little bit more. Okay, that's all. That was fun. Just had some energy, felt like planting something up. Thought it'd be fun to do so and hang out with my plant friends. Comment down below. <laughs> Why did I say below? 
comment down below. Say hi, I love talking to everybody. My social media is linked down below. I use Instagram far more than anything else. Follow me and I'll follow you back. It's a lot of fun nerding out with everybody and seeing everybody's pictures. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It makes a big difference for the channel, so thank you for that. And subscribe as well, because I upload multiple times a week. So hit that notification bell, that way you know when new videos come out. I hope everybody's doing well, everything's going great, and life is just fantastic for you. As always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye.